hopefully I won't scare anybody off. <laughs> but I'm going to walk down there and see if anybody has any memories. Can't be anything like it here because you don't see those type of... Uh, I'm not seeing those type of buildings. What? It's not even on the map. She had some great watermelons. Then I went over there to the where the shops are. See that bloke even thanked me for telling him that it, it was all filmed down here. It could be that the house was there, but who knows? An English show. Love thy neighbor. Do you remember it? I do you remember, do you remember love it? Thy neighbor. Come on. It was filmed just down here. Love the nicknock. Chances are people have just come out here. God knows how long they've been here. What the hell? And it's not Thames, it's Thames. That's how you pronounce it. Thames. Anyway. Uh First episode coming up right now. Enjoy the show, but you might not enjoy it. Love thy neighbor, and you will find your labor a great deal easier. Life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. I really think I do a better show live than recorded. I really do think that, you know, um, it's only my first few videos and, oh God, I can tell you, I can be really nervous sometimes, nerve wracking. Uh, but when you're doing it, recording it, I don't know, but when I'm doing it live, I feel a bit more confident. It's like a live comedy show, like, yeah. <laughs> anyway. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about now. Uh, surprisingly enough, would you believe? Um, well, we have to say rest in peace. And um, today thinking of uh, Jack Smithhurst, uh, I'm sure I pronounced that correctly, um, who is a UK comedian who passed away um, in uh well just last year actually is i was meant to make this video that's why i was meant to make this video uh, about a month ago um but i think i'm you know pretty much just in time really uh, it's almost march now so um it's this this release of the video is a little bit late so sorry for that as i said jack smithhurst is a was a uk comedian and um was very popular and starred in um, probably UK's most uh, popular TV comedy, Love Thy Neighbour. Everybody knows, I'm sure everybody knows Love mm. Thy Neighbour. I mean, if you're growing up in the 80s or 90s, it's it was probably a little bit hard to see it, but um, in the 80s, if you were growing up and you were young, uh, that the um, show is, was always a funny show. Um, Yes, you know, if you saw something like that today. I don't mind telling you, Barbie, I didn't think half hour ago we'd all be getting on so well. No, me. You know, Bill gets a bit sensitive sometimes. Not at all. There's nothing wrong with your Bill. He's very level headed. He's just like any other normal person. <laughs> of course, there's going to be people talking, you know, uh, about the race thing, and um, that's not what we're talking about here, but we're just talking about. The comedian, <laughs> um, and yeah, so the series began in. Um, so it did begin. So I'm actually looking at 
uh, the screen now, so I I won't I don't want to take take you to the screen I'm looking at because it's a computer screen, but it's you know fuzzy hazy, but uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna transfer the the screen onto you know what I'm looking at, you know the image of you'll see it. It's no use grumbling. You can't expect me to carry it all. I don't know why you have to buy so much in. You've got our food in your case for our visitors. What are you expecting? A bloody army? <laughs> a lot to be prepared for emergencies. How many tins of pilchards did you buy? They were on special offer. How many tins did you buy? Oh, it was tuppence off each tin. How many have you bought? Now, you're not going to shout at me, are you? I will if you don't tell me how many tins of pilchards you bought. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Corner the market? could be scarce later in the year. Yeah, but we, of course we will. We've got like this. We'll have them all. <laughs> you, you, you will see what I'm looking at, pretty much. So, if I go back, I'm just going to go back. You see? See, guys? This is it, you see? Today, you do your investigation... And this is, I'm sure this is what people are doing. You know, I'm, I'm going out, you know, you go out, you go out late at night, oh, where is everyone? Where is everyone? Oh, time he can grow down, spot. Time he can grow down. Time he can grow down, spot. Time he can grow down. They're sitting at home on their computer. I'm sure they're investigating something. These days you got to because, uh, you know, with all the clown show going on, it's, uh, you need to know what's really going on. And I'm not going there. <laughs> it really is a clown show. But, um, okay, love thy neighbour. Um, started on British television. They called it a sitcom uh, that was broadcast on around the 13th of April... 1972 uh, until 22nd of January 1976 it's very I'm pretty sure it's really popular in America as well uh, some of these UK TV shows are popular in America like 40 Towers you know um, you know the big shows um, everybody like like the worldwide they know Mr. Bean um, you know it's very popular in America they even made movies over there um, although some of these UK comedy shows, when they become popular in the UK, um, I think they begin to um, uh, begin a new series, pan out their shows a little bit and go abroad. And usually they go to Australia. I find that a lot of these TV shows have come to Australia, like Two Ronnies. Um, there's a few other shows I can think of, but it's just uh, not working right now. I'll have to press the pause button and I go, Ooh. I'll have to press the pause button, or I'll have to just sit there like this. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you don't want to see that. But yeah, so, um, so the people that were in uh, that show, <laughs> really funny show, Jack Smithhurst, Nina Barden Semper, who was the um. Uh, the coloured lady next door married to Bill Reynolds, Rudolph, Rudolph Walker. Um, Kate Williams was married to Jake Smithhurst, as, it, as it, I mean, talking about Eddie Booth and Joan Booth. Um, and there's, yeah, of course you've got the, the uh, um, other famous people on it, like Tommy Godfrey. Uh, Tommy Godfrey, you see on so many TV shows, Tommy Godfrey... Um, you see him on Mind Your Language, um, uh, some quite a lot of uh, movies that we don't realise when you see these, uh, sometimes these, uh, he's not an extra, he does talk on a lot of these things, so you do see him quite often. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit like when you see the Benny Hill show and you see that, not the little man, but you see the other one, and he's always in a lot of, lot of TV shows as well. Um, actually someone my dad bumped into when he was working in um, London at the time in a studio somewhere um, yeah so anyway going back to this uh, Love Thy Neighbour complete series 
now they're on DVD as well. We we'll, we can discuss that part of it. I will look at that part of it. Um, probably in the middle of this of this recording, um, and you can see then uh, the types of prints that are available. When I mean prints, I mean the DVD copies. Because some DVDs that you purchase, they, they might be like one or two dollars or, you know, the cheapest thing possible. But the picture quality is so bad. It's probably not watchable. You probably watch it once and you just put it away. Because it's just the quality of it is not good. So what you'd want to do, if you really want to collect um, Love Thy Neighbor series, and you can buy them as a complete series. Um, what we can do is look at the prints the different types of prints and which ones have been remastered and then you can see the quality there's some you know um, some prints look so good that they look pretty much brand new and they and as you know when you watch an old TV comedy show um, even like different strokes you know some of those American shows as well the comedies they're in this format it's a 4-3 format and it, you know, it's okay, you can watch it, but it's not that widescreen format. But I think a lot of these shows now, they're remastering them. Uh, for example, one I did look at, or when I say look at, when I looked at it, because um, I had the old part of the old series, and I know this has nothing to do with it, but um, Baywatch, and that was a 90s uh, TV series. And they were all in that format, so you have these black bars down the side. And um, then you'd want to buy, you know, if you'd want to buy the 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 better uh, prints, you'd want to buy the Blu-ray and a wider screen. And they have reproduced them um, in a better quality uh, set now. So uh, a little bit more expensive, but you can look for those things. And we can go about looking for Love Thy Neighbour um, in the middle of this show as well. So that's why I thought I'll just talk a little bit about um, Jack Smithhurst and what he did. Um, and uh, yeah, just talk a little bit about that. And then um, I'll take you through to some of the screens as well. And then, what did I do last time when um, I spoke about Phil Lynott and um, Thin Lizzy at the Opera House? I went there, didn't I? <laughs> well, um, I'm going to attempt to do something. <laughs> That's, I'll go into that in a minute. Um, uh, yeah, so I will attempt to, so when the second, uh, when the later series was uh, shown in Australia. It was actually filmed here and filmed in uh, like western suburbs of Sydney. Marley Engineering. Marley Engineering. Wattle Street. Wattle Street. Blacktown. Blacktown. <laughs> Blacktown. And um, it's like you're in in the uh, around that time there were more yeah there were more of the I think English settlers coming out more there and then you had uh, a mixture of European uh, um, Greek Turkish uh, that type of you know and that's why around the area they've got a they got a mosque around that area so um, and they had a big um, club around there as well, an RSL club, and uh, some parks. I think where they um, they may have done some filming there as well. Uh, we, what we could do is look at the series, watch some of it, find out. Hey, yeah, uh, have you got any sort of religion where you come from, Bill? Of course we do. Uh -huh. I guess, but you don't have our God, do you? As a matter of fact, Eddie, we have three gods. Three gods? They, I told you they were primitive. Hey, do you have any strange rituals? Only one. What's that? 
But you see, once a week we gather in this special place, you see, and our holy man stands before us in a beautiful robe in front of a big altar, and we sing and we pray together. Get over. What sort of ritual is that? We call it divine service. Divine service? Yes, according to the rites of the Church of England. You're one of us, then? Of course he's not one of us. You can't have the Church of England in the West Indies. Why not? They've got a mosque in Maida Vale. <laughs> anyway, you said you worship three gods. The Church of England does not have three gods. Hey, you're wrong there, mate. All right, clever dick, you tell me, what are they? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Um, and I can tell you, look, um, from the early days, he, it's now, um, as I said, February, March, he um, unfortunately passed away 16th of February 2022, just last year. Um, he was born in April 1932. This is, and, and uh, as you know, he was well known for his uh, role in, as Eddie Booth in Love Thy Neighbour. Uh, born in Lancashire in the UK, uh, or Manchester, if you like, to be precise. Coley, Coleyhurst, or Coleyhurst, Manchester, uh, and that's in Lancashire. Um, and he had four, cho four children four children to a marriage um, with someone by the name of Julie Nichols uh, who he married in 1957 uh, I believe until his death so uh, he was married once um, so he made his he made his film debut believe this or not in 1958 um, in Carry On Sergeant <laughs> So, you know, as I said, I'm a Carry On fan. Um, and he, he followed these up with um, some other comedy films like A Kind of Loving um, and a, a big screen version of Please Sir. And I believe that, was a, that became a series as well. And then uh, following on was Love Thy Neighbour, which um, is <laughs> a series hard to get away from so it, it became it, it became um, his his role uh, for a long long time um, now as I said um, the love thy neighbor ended in 1976 in the UK um, he did appear in um, uh, during that time as well well, well during the recording of Love Thy Neighbour, so 1974, he recorded um, a film version of uh, of Man About the House, um, and uh, so of course that's another popular series. So he was in he was in that movie as well, or film if you like, and then um, the sequel to um, Love Thy Neighbour was called Love Thy Neighbour. In Australia, so uh, so that ended. That ended, um, and it was uh, it wasn't a, a you know a, the longest series, <laughs> um, but that ended fairly quickly, unfortunately. Um, and then, of course, there were other film appearances that he you know he became involved in, and that was *Chariots of Fire*. King Ralph, um, La Passion, um, and um, he also was a guest appearance in 1997 on Last of the Summer Wine. Um, so, and yeah, I think on and off there were a couple of um, guest appearances in on Coronation Street, and he appeared on stage in Australia. Um, with, we actually with David McCallum, Katie Manning, Eric Sykes. Um, the play was called "Run for Your Wife," <laughs> and that was during 1987 and 1988. 
uh, about that time, um, you know, uh, Love Thy Neighbour was popular still in Australia. So, um, but yeah, once again, some of the films, Carry On Sergeant, um, a kind of loving uh, Doctor in Clover, you know, those Doctor films were quite popular as well. Um, he was only a long haired patient on that one, so uh, it wasn't a big role. Um, and a bus driver on police, uh, um, yeah, Love Thy Neighbour and Man About the House. Yeah, so he had a, 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 um, a good set of films and um, kept himself busy from 1958 onwards up until about 1998 was probably his last, you know, I might be wrong, but it was around the late 90s, which, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, he slowed down. Um, there wasn't much, maybe not much work for him. That I, you know, again, I'm not hundred percent sure, but um, it's just interesting to find these things, you know, uh, when you when you do look into it further, you know. Uh, but it's sad that you know when you see um, on your news website or you know the website that you go to to see the news that. Um, Someone such as him, you know, a very funny person uh, that is normally sitting in your um, living room with your family, you know, making you laugh. This guy is just, these guys just make you laugh. Jack Smithers makes you laugh. And he was a really funny man. You know, to me, he's a, he's a very funny guy. And, uh, you know, um, like just the look of him, just the look of him, he's a, he's a very funny down to earth guy. Yeah, he's... He, he's a bit cheeky as well, um, but when you look at those um, that cast of Love Thy Neighbour, uh, they it's um, a gem of a comedy show. So it's uh, uh, fun to, fun to watch. Um, yeah, you know um, it might you know if you if you're new to it, it might take a little bit getting used to. Um, but when you when you see what's going on and how they live together and and their arguments and things you know the characters they 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 they're funny you know, some sometimes a little bit fiery uh, but really good fun to watch uh, f funny shows well written um or like so many other of the you know english shows I could mention and um american and australian shows it's very funny very good um, uh, when Jack Smithhurst came to Australia, um, I've I've been reading comments of um, of his whereabouts, his locations. You know, people were saying things in in comments on YouTube when you know when uh, an episode is uploaded. You know, there's all these comments, and I'm not sure if they're true. People are saying these things. And they and they're saying that oh he lived in such and such an area. Um, like he lived, for example, somebody said he lived in Blacktown, and he was doing so. Uh, I think he was travelling from Blacktown to um, Auburn, a place called Auburn. Not in America, Auburn in Sydney, Australia. Um, and it's not a, much of a travel, but. Um, apparently he used to travel from this suburb to this other suburb to to get to his you know to get to work so people would see him and um, yeah so you know when you see comments like that I think oh yeah okay so he, it's quite surprising the way the people that uh, you've known to love over the years and watched for so many years they're you know uh, they can be like either close to home or a place that you've been to before or lived before. Um, so, yeah, so there he was, uh, Jack Smithhurst, funny comedian, uh, always well loved and um, in those shows, so funny, very funny to watch. Um, and you can find them online as well, even on YouTube, as I said. Um, now, if I go to 
the Australian version of um, Love Thy Neighbour. I can tell you the people that started that. So, uh, so if you live in the UK or America or elsewhere, it, it's you might know his name, but he's a very popular Australian, Robert Hughes. Uh, he's a funny Australian guy. Uh, used to be on, so he was in Love Thy Neighbour in Australia, and a, and a long Australian TV show called Hey Dad. So the show had fifty three episodes in the UK. Uh, the show was based around the white uh, working class couple, Eddie and Joan Booth, uh, living in the area called Twickenham in London, which is uh, an out outside suburb of London. And you also had the, um, the next door couple, Bill and Barbie Reynolds, and, and they were the next door neighbours. Basically, it's it's all about Eddie um, criticising and struggling to come to terms with the mass immigration to the UK with all the, with all the um, different types of people coming into the country um, and um, you know and also struggling to understand you know uh, what what makes him uh, better than what he is you know uh, so uh, I think that's the the show is largely based around that, you know, um, and you know all the fights and things that they have. Um, it's it, it's a it is a very funny show. There's also there's also the racist comments you'd hear uh, from time to time, and um, you know, the, and the different colour comments. So uh, that and that and that's something. Um, I think because in the 70s uh, we were growing up with uh, you know the, that type of uh, probably growing up with that type of mentality when you, you're seeing the, these different races coming into the country uh, like you know I mean, you, you see it all the time I mean I'm uh, I'm of a different origin <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm English but I was born there uh, but yeah the, uh, the the mass immigration coming in from uh, into the UK at that time but yeah although there was a lot I mean there's a lot more than there was ever now <laughs> but um, that's pretty much what that's about it's about two couples you've got your uh, they're, and they're both young, fairly young couples. You've got um, one couple in one house and you've got the other couple in the other house. And both are bickering about... Um, they Usually the wives try to get on, uh, but it's usually the husbands that have the little bickering and the fights and, the, and that... that uh, what stems from that is the racism and the, you know, the bad name calling sometimes and those type of things which uh, you won't see anything like that now it's just something you know totally out of the ordinary you won't you just won't see anything now like that and if they did they probably wouldn't broadcast it on TV anymore um, so that's uh, that's uh, Love Thy Neighbour um, so it had been popular overseas as well Europe um, selling well apparently in Nigeria, parts of the Caribbean, um, showing on some of the, repeated as well, on some of the satellite TV stations um, during the early 2000s as well. And um, yeah, popular all around uh, comedy show and especially popular in Australia. So, um, where do I take you from here? We can have a look at the um, DVD sets and I can take you through to, you know, you can watch a couple of the um, UK episodes, just little snippets, just little bits. 
and then the Australian ones, and they're funny too. They they really are funny as well. So, uh, um, very good something to laugh at. If you've got a good print, that's a very important thing, you know. So, um, the quality of the picture is very good then. If it's widescreen, even better. I'm not sure if it's been remade for widescreen, but we can have a look at that now. I did a search, so I've done I've done a few searches like over the past few days today i found so love thy neighbor in australia you can look it up you can do your search and look up love thy neighbor in australia and um and the episode started 9th of april 1980 they only had so it was only a short run of seven episodes unfortunately it was only short quite short um, they had Australian neighbours, uh, Dutch Australian, um, and some of the scenes were shot in Auburn, New South Wales, Auburn Road. And would you believe it? It says here, you, you wouldn't believe this, you know, I've, I've actually found it, it says here. Serving as Joyce, Bernard and Eddie's home, Auburn Road. So it even shows you, it even tells you here, the um, street number. So, somebody lives in there right now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, it's going to be a different time now. I'm going to get myself ready and get out there in my there you go Union Jack t-shirt I'll go out there and hopefully I won't scare anybody off <laughs> but I'm going to walk down there and see if anybody has any memories of Love Thy Neighbour now if I come to that house uh, what will we find in there <laughs> it's where they made some of their recordings and I can I can show you that. This is for Jack Smithhurst, great funny comedian, um, had some really great shows with uh, Love Thy Neighbour. We always welcomed him into our living room, watched him um, every time they were on. Yeah, we would probably never missed an episode. Um, although um, I don't recall watching Love Thy Neighbour in Australia in the UK, that I, I don't recall. Uh, but it was only a short um, set of uh, episodes in 1980. So, now, let's go to Auburn Road. So we're going through one of the main roads of Auburn, going into the city of Auburn itself. This is in New South Wales, Sydney, uh, Australia. You can see a bus there, and you will um, find yeah, we're your in, labor, in the main centre almost, and a fair bit of traffic here. And, and then uh, as we approach the area, we turn into a, the, one of the longest streets um, in Auburn, and it's Auburn Road. So we're just a few minutes away now, and yes, here we go.